Hi everybody, here a short tutorial on the Ray uh, operator um, Expresso node in Cinema 4D. As you can see in the documentation, Array Collision uh, node generates Array and checks if and where it hits a polygon object. In that case, the polygon object is outputted on that uh, Expresso node. And to make it more interesting, I've added some Python codes um, to show you that uh, polygon that was hit and some additional uh, polygons around that polygon. I don't think it's uh, difficult, but again, if you have any questions, let me know. So here is what it does. I have a circle with point one on it and a light to indicate where it is. This circle is, I've added a vibrate tag to the circle to make it up and down. And then a ray is calculated between point one and point two. And where the ray hits this object, the sphere, that polygon is outputted. So here is the Expresso, point 1 and point 2, both null objects, are inputted to the ray collision. The sphere is of course also an impact. And the phase index that was hit, so the object, the, the polygon object that was hit, is outputted. In my case, there's always a hit, so I don't uh, use the collision node or the distance or whatever. But of course you can use it if you want to. And then I output that phase index, so the polygon index that was hit, to the Python code, together with the sphere object. This is uh, the Python code, so when we look at it, it starts with main of course. The third thing I do is get the selection tag connected to the sphere input object. So here is getting the polygon selection, this is the object and get the tag, so get the selection tag, the, op the polygon selection tag for this object. And with that tag I'm going to set and reset the selections. The third thing I do is to reset all the selections. So no object or no polygon is selected. And then I go with this phase index that was inputted to the Python codes. I select the polygon. So this is what I do, I get the neighbor polygons. So what I'm doing here in this sub, or is in this, uh, this routine, subroutine, I get the objects and then I get the neighbors for this given index, for this given polygon. So I do this for the first one. So initially I use the phase index outputted from the ray collision to get the neighbor polygons. And then I go one step deeper to add additional polygons. So here I get the polygon, uh, the neighbor polygons for polygon zero, which was outputted here, and for the other polygons. And that way I get more selected polygons on the sphere object. And then at the end you have to set the selection again. So once again I clear all the selections first 
Then I get the neighbor polygons of this selected polygon that was hit, the face index. I get the neighbor polygons and then for these neighbor polygons I get again uh, the neighbor polygons just to make it more interesting. And uh, I, I know it can be done in another way, it could be done more efficient, uh, quicker and so on, but I think this is the best for to show you how to do it. And of course, when the selection is set for the sphere, this selection is set. And then I use that selection to set the green color. Okay, so again, I'm using a ray collision node to get the, f the, the polygon that was hit. I output that to a Python code and search for the neighbor polygons. And that selection is used to make that part of the sphere green. Okay, I realize it was very quick and rather um, high level tutorial, but uh, you can download the source and you can see for yourself and find out and test and use it to make your own uh, programs. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.